Not as close like poppin' bees. What what's poppin' bees? What's poppin' bees? Welcome back to Beer Sounds. <laughs> Hey, Derek, could I ask you a religious question? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am the god of the earth. Therefore, I have the answer to all religious questions. Really? Yep. Okay. Um. Well, my question is, do you fuck with Thanksgiving? Do I fuck with Thanksgiving? Do you, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? I personally don't celebrate Thanksgiving mm -hmm. because I think holidays are an interesting concept that we've come up with, especially Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving, we celebrate to be thankful for christopher columbus right is that it i, I actually this is canadian thanksgiving i don't think who, Cana who what's who's the canadian christopher columbus like like steve steve columbus steve harper stephen harper oh dude yeah i i, I well, he was president like a couple years back wasn't he that was the first prime minister that i was actually conscious enough to remember i can't i i only know pierre elliott trudeau i don't even know who prime minister is right now i don't know actually I don't vote, bro. I don't know. You don't even know who's in power right now. Bro, you, you know who's you know you who's in power? His, Thanos just, is in power. You just said bro. his dad. Purely Trudeau's his dad. Who is the kid that's in power? Derek Trudeau. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I am in power because I am the almighty lord. Mm -hmm. So and I have all the answers. As the almighty lord, what's your take on Thanksgiving? Well, my take is well, let's see. Because I think holidays are a fun thing that people do. You know, I might be like the Grinch. Mm -hmm. During Christmas, because I think Christmas is a little bit stupid. Whoa, you think Christmas is stupid? <laughs> well, Jesus fucking, I, I, I promise you right now, that motherfucker didn't, was, was a liar. You think he was just the biggest gaslighter Dude, ever? Jesus and I are the same, except I am worse at gaslighting because like people aren't susceptible to that anymore. You know, people but are susceptible you to gaslighting. You put me back when Jesus was born, and it's called like fucking zoo miss instead of christmas it's called zoomis because <laughs> like it would be me gaslighting yes because he made it all up so you think you're on par with the jesus yes <laughs> okay well that's because he had an easier time gaslighting because everybody was already i mean like, there was no access to information it was just like yo you either believe me or you don't yeah you know? like if i went back in time with, with a fully charged iphone <laughs> <laughs> what would happen to me? No, I think they would beat you and call you gay, bro. I think that's what would happen. <laughs> but Thanksgiving, I think that I might just be wrong, but I think we celebrate Christopher Columbus, you know, colonizing the land. You know, I'm I'm I, I I'm grateful to be here. I'm actually thankful, you know, I'm thankful to be here. Yeah. But I think holidays are interesting because <clears throat> I treat every day as a holiday. You live every day like it's your last. Like, you or, gambled yeah, away all our winnings from the Canucks game, right? Like, you live every day like it's your last. Yeah. Well, dude, the roulette was gas, bro. <laughs> no, you lost all our money, bro. <laughs> it was That's... fun. Okay, it was fun. It's like dopamine hits. So, you, like, losing. No, winning. The... Yeah, but you didn't win. I know, but I was at one point. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point of gambling. Like, it just feels good. And even if you lose after, you feel bad, but... And I then you want to go again. I think you're a gambling addict. Well, you can't be an addict if you've only done it like once a month. That's not an addict. That's a, like that's like an enjoyer. No, but <laughs> you gambled so hard where you lost all our winnings. Is that not? A, I yeah, but you act like that. I lost my house. Okay, yeah. I mean, right. you lost like a like a couple bucks. I lost like eighty bucks in like five minutes. That's a, that's like a lot of money. Yeah, I guess if it was an hour, I would have lost like. I don't know. You would have lost like a, K. a lot more. You would have lost one K. But um, let me propose. Do, well, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Why not? Um, I think it's a big stem from the fact that I'm an Asian. I know. That's Asian why descent. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't. You, do Asian people celebrate? What nope. do people do in China? Lunar New Year. Um, like moon mid, cakes. Moon cakes. Cake, mid autumn festival. Yeah. Chinese New Year, and then I think they do regular New Year, um, and probably like Mao Mao Day. Mao Day? Is that when you just go mow, mow, mow and eat shit? Or like, what no, is it? No, it's like when you, you shave your head like here and you act like Mao. Like Mao <laughs> Zedong. That's Mao Day. Okay. Yeah. But dude, you know what I really wish there was? I wish where I wish there was a holiday where instead of giving thanks, we could give fucks. They do have that. Really? Yeah, it's uh, 
October 13th. Is it October? Is, is it October 13th? Yeah. Oh, wait. October 13th is fucks giving. That happens to be today. Oh my gosh. And you know what? Instead of serving turkey on, I, I just, this is rumors. This is rumors. Mm. Okay. Instead of serving turkey on fucks giving, what do they serve? They serve this um, very smelly jello. That kind of smells like what pop color and is bees. It? It's 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 the color of um semen. It's a color of semen. It smells like pop and bees. But what's pop and bees? <gasps> what's pop and bees? Welcome back to Beer Sauce. My name is Nicholas Potsavat. And my name is D-R-E-K-Z-H-U, Derek Zoo. And welcome to the beer to Beer Sauce's very first Fucks Giving. Where instead of give instead of uh, we give fucks. Yeah, instead of giving thanks, we're two Asian men that don't celebrate Thanksgiving. So we give fucks. I gotta burp. Oh, do it into the mic. Oh god! I've been burping a lot. I don't know why. I'm... Are you? Is your? How's your diet? It's like default. Like if you like, it's like the most default diet of all time. Maybe you just need to be healthier. Yeah, but I want to be average. Also, being <laughs> average means I can like snack and stuff. Oh yeah, I love snack almonds. I don't know. I Are feel you like... a big almond guy. I'm a big. No, I like nuts. Guy. I like I like peanuts. I like I like a lot of nuts. I don't like um green the green one pistachio though. I, I like pistachios. They're just a bitch to open, though. It hurts my fingers. Oh, I feel like if I have to open something, it's so annoying. I most likely don't do it. Like, you know lychee? Yes, I do know lychee. It's so good, but I you have to open lychee. it every time, and it's annoying. I would pay someone to open lychee. I wish they me. just came pre-opened. I would pay extra for that. It's like yeah. pre-grated cheese. Oh. Oh, they do sell that, actually. Yeah. Or like, um, um, what do, you, what do you call, what do you put over spaghetti? Mozzarella? Mozzarella. Or I don't know. Cheddar. No mozzarella. Didn't you eat like two year old mozzarella one time? Yeah, you felt fucked up. I use I I didn't know when the expiry date was because it was just there, so I just assumed it was fine because I like I just assumed my mom would throw it out, you know, but she didn't, and it was like two years old. But I didn't realize that until I started feeling weird, so I checked the expiry date and it was like two years old. That's and it was like it wasn't even like two years old, like weed. Like you can still smoke that, you know. You yeah. like you could. I don't think I would not smoke two year old weed. I would. You, it's just dry. It might not even like. But dude. You... It's not like it gets like moldy. No, but what if your high is dry then? Like, what if you're so thirsty when you're high? But that's why I get that all the time when I'm high. I don't think I get high without being thirsty. Oh no, I always have a water bottle on. Yeah, me. yeah. Those, are, those come together. But um, explain the exp- quickly explain the concept of fucks giving. Well, to fucks everyone, giving. Please. You know, well, when I was in high school, when I didn't have a lot of close friends, because it's it's hard to be close with people in high school because I just feel like I don't know, you're like a child still. Yeah. Every time Christmas happened. And everybody posted on their story of like them opening gifts and like their fucking family being together and like their dad kissing them. <laughs> yeah, no, that that one like, hits. That one. I hits. was like, wow, I hate these motherfuckers, bro. Mm-hmm. I would be jealous. Like I would actually be envious. Like of white people. Yes, of white people. Like yeah. I was envious yeah, that I, they dude, celebrated Christmas. I'm envious of plenty of white people on and, a daily um, basis. Yeah, you know they just have like cooler like skin tones than us yep no they have better skin to- more supremacist more dominant skin exactly. tones Ary- the Aryan race you know what's Aryan you're half Aryan what is I don't even know what it's that like is. the sh- so like if I'm, I'm Hitler okay the Aryans are better than the Jewish people like the, the, the Aryans it's like the perfect people oh okay okay yeah okay well okay I see but where you come from. it's just about you know taking back I don't know <laughs> it's like counterculture Mm-hmm. it's like me saying chink i don't think that's counter i think that's just like you, that's your that's your word if anyone can say it it's you okay well i don't know it's just us being hateful you know mm-hmm. because I, I, well, I did a white thanksgiving whoa why well, I, I was i had thanksgiving dinner with my at my girlfriend's house and they're white so i so now i did my thankful stuff yeah and now it's time to now be it's time again. to give now it's time to give fucks now we're giving here's fucks. what i hate Okay, okay, we're so okay. Let's go right into this. Gabagoo. Yo, bro, I gotta cut that out. <laughs> well, I didn't even specify anybody. I, but <laughs> look at me. I'm wearing an Obama shirt. Oh, no. I'm an Al. Gabagoo. I didn't say them. I just said. Oh, you're in general. You're well, wearing Obama's Obama on. Uh, uh, he's, uh, what's the left? Um, it's not Democrat? Liberal. Yeah. And if you're a Democrat, you f- like, you're labeled as more of an ally, you know? And I'm wearing an Obama shirt. So I get more like leeway yeah what yeah, i say this respect, episode. Respect. okay <laughs> i see i see where you're coming from okay you you say yours you want me to, okay i'll get into my first prompt here uh-huh. i'll get into my first prompt uh, let me open my phone first one i have for fuck we be giving. thankful first or no let's be thankful at the end thanks for watching oh yeah That's no it. thank you okay. no we'll, we'll be thankful at the end um so my first fucks giving prompt is customer 
helplines. I think customer helplines are careful. Why? Saying what? Customer helplines fucking suck. Be careful though. Why? Because who answers those calls? I don't know. Employees. Keep, keep going then. <laughs> I just think customer helplines suck. You're, Why? Well, you're on the phone for fucking two hours, and it's making the same jingle. And then every, like, ten minutes, it goes, it baits you. It fucking baits you. It edges you. And it goes, oh, thank you for holding. We'll be right with you, and we'll get a representative as soon as possible. Yeah. And then it goes back to the jingle again, and it keeps blueballing you, dude. And it's fucking annoying. And then after two hours, you pick up the phone, and they are no help, bro. And then the only thing you can do is threaten to cancel the bill. And then that's when they start giving what, a shit. When is, when is, how long, what's the longest um, time you've been on, like, the wait? Like, three, four hours. You've waited three, four hours for who? I think, like, TELUS or something. Like, my Wi-Fi or, like, my TV or something. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, I, I fucking hate customer service lines. I agree. At one time, during COVID, my internet went out for, like, three days. Mm -hmm. Like, straight up, no internet. And they were like, we'll send someone over in two weeks, bro. So you're just gonna have no internet for two weeks? We live in the 21st century. Well, we I got need internet. Like after like five days, it worked. But like I was in university. <laughs> like those motherfuckers were like, "We'll send yeah. someone to help you in two weeks." Yeah, two mm -hmm. weeks. I and know. then it's like they. Uh, oh my! I know. I I I think you're more. I think you're more upset than I am now, no, but because I have another one too. Oh God, Fido. Yeah, Canadian Call, calling you out. Calling you out, Fido. Canadian cellular company, the uh, owned by Rogers. Mm hmm. They removed their customer calls line. Oh, they man. removed them. They only have the chat bot. And the chat bot is so The chat bot is bullshit. literally AI. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then it's like, oh, like tell us your problem. And if we can't solve it, we will let you speak to a representative. But they don't have a phone number that you can't yeah. call. No, them. You can't find so they, it. You have to chat with them. Mm -hmm. And these motherfuckers are so useless, dude. Yeah. yeah. So useless. And. They they don't type English well, okay? <laughs> they're AI. It's not like they're no, 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 no but they, they like link you to like a real person after a certain bit. But you're still texting a real person. Oh yeah, but they don't type English well. They don't, okay? So is it just L grammar? Yeah, it's L grammar, and it's like they don't like. Okay, <laughs> this guy slapped his thigh. That was well, loud. Okay, but when you call customer service in a lot of places, they don't. Their customer service lines, especially with insurance. Cause I just like renew my car insurance. Yeah, who who's answering the phone? Like who? I don't know, bro. You do know. Nah, you said it's it, an though. Indian person. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. No, nothing. But it's the fact that they. It's just like Apple uses kids to make their phones. You know why? It's cheaper. Mm -hmm. So it's it's cheaper to outsource your call centers to India. Yeah. And now when I want to renew my insurance. The phone quality is already bad. You know, you're connecting from Vancouver. To it's India. from North America to Asia. That's a, that's like that's a lot be of bad reception. A lot of distance. A lot of distance, right? And then with the the accents, with the bad phone quality, it's very it's it's, it's hard to understand what they're saying. It can be hard to get a grip of what's going on. Exactly. And then all of a sudden, you agree to something that you don't even know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been doing that. I've done that before. You actually subscribe to like fucking. You renew your phone plan for like a decade and you're like, oh shit, yeah. dude, I just didn't understand. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah. And it is what it is. That's that's my first that's I fucking hate customer helplines. I think whoever invented them deserves Well, what's an alternative to that? Oh, just make make your shit work properly. Bro. Just make it so you never need to. Yeah, make it service. make it so it's like so it it never fucks up. I think this really triggered me yeah the fact that you brought that up like i like you were upset about it but i think it, it unlocked, i think it affected you even it more unlocked than it something me. in me because yeah. i had that like really bad customer customer service experience with fido mm -hmm. just because i couldn't even call them it was annoying but i mean one time uh this was when i was in bcit this was like three weeks ago i was trying to pay my tuition yeah and then i was on the helpline for 45 minutes and i was like fuck this I'm why like, don't they play good music because they want to make you mad so you hang up so you don't even have to talk to them. Yeah. No, they should play like, oh, there was this. If they played like Young Gravy, I'm staying on the line. Yeah, <laughs> there was this thing. There was this YouTuber called Saluminati. I used to play NBA 2K that like was big back then. Mm -hmm. And like a couple years ago, mm -hmm. like four. And then he used to do this thing. I mean, there's a lot of conspiracy theorists out there. You know, sometimes I like to indulge in my own conspiracy theories. 
they're interesting. I don't believe in them, but it's he weird. had this conspiracy theory of like how he listens to the music at certain hertz, and when you listen to it at certain hertz, you're like being brainwashed. I don't know. That's what they do in the customer helpline. You think they do that? Yeah. That's a really out there take. But honestly, like I know the government's hiding aliens, so I could you believe think? you. I think so. The government is surely hiding an alien or some sort of alien craft, bro. A hundred percent. There's no shot. Like, not even the level that, like, Donald Trump has access to. Or Joe Biden, whoever the fuck is president right now. It's hard to believe. But at the same time, I would be like, wow, oh, I, I feel like that's pretty realistic. Yeah. But my, my concern is that'd be, like, so impossible to hide. You know? Like, it, it, well, dude, I think there's only like ten people that have clearance for this shit. Who? Like, oh, the I, Men in I Black. Mean, I wouldn't know them. You know, yeah, the Will men Smith. In Black? Will Smith. He would no, have. Well, clearance. that's the Men in Black movies are based on like conspiracy theory. Yeah, good movies. First one's a good movie, but but like I don't know, like I, I like people have seen aliens, mm-hmm. and then there's like footage of this, like like um security footage of like people with no hair, no eyebrows. And like in suits, walking in and like talking to them. Yeah, you know what that is? That's a fucking alien. That's called a. That's a prank. Yeah. That was. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, conspiracy theories are interesting, but I think aliens are real. I definitely think what they're the real. F- is that a plant? Yeah. That's a dead ass plant. What's your choose on my plant? That's not good for her. You know what I hate? What's up? What's your prompt? Tipping culture. Ooh, I know you. So, I know you dislike this so, so if highly. You, or in Europe, you don't even know what we're talking about. Cause you uh, guys do they not tip, tip in Europe? Nope. No, yeah, I have. I went to Germany like a decade ago, and I had to tip to use the bathroom. You have to. You have to pay to use public washrooms. Yeah, but from my memory, tip. But yeah, we don't. They don't have free public washrooms, probably. But that's fucking stupid, by the way. Like that's really fucking stupid. I know, cause what? I what if I have to drop ground? a dookie, but I have no change on me? Like, what do I do? Then you like beg somebody, or you go into someone's house. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But. I'm going to, I got to breathe through my nose because my nose is, oh, take a breath, take a breath, take a breath. Oh, the jawline went crazy when you did that, bro. Jeez. I have a nose problem, so I'm going to be sniffing. So in Vancouver, mm-hmm. every, Vancouver is like one of the most expensive cities to live in. Yeah. It's like up there with like Singapore and I don't know. Singapore like, is expensive. I didn't know Singapore was expensive. Singapore is just the rich Asians. You know, nice. crazy rich Asians. Yeah. Cra- good. Okay. Movie. Yeah. It's I've okay never movie. actually watched it. I'm so I watched it that. with Juno. It was like pretty mid bro what's it about it's about some crazy rich fucking asians in singapore (laughs) so like it's very expensive to live in vancouver Mm -hmm. like most expensive city in canada one of the most expensive in north america along with like new york like buying stuff here is already expensive you know how much spam is like spam spam is eight dollars oh here yes like if you go to Save on Food, spam is eight dollars. Also, why are you buying spam? Spam is good. No, it's not. Okay. Well, you're not you a true sp- Asian then. Yeah. Your half is showing. <laughs> you think spam is gas, dude? Have you ever spam fried rice? Okay, if you it can cook kimchi me up, fried spam, cook me up some, some stuff. Cook me up some spam fried rice. Cook, cook well, it up. I don't know okay. how, but spam is good. People that act like fake stuff isn't. <laughs> Excuse me. People that act like fake stuff isn't good. You're lying. People will be like, Subway's ham is fake. Yeah, but it's good. Okay, I agree there's with like, you. There's like shit in there that like shouldn't be in there, and it makes it better. Like opioids. Mm. They put opioids in the white bread. Yeah. And I fuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's say I go buy like a, a meal. How much is a meal here? Like $20? But if you, yeah. for us, but if we're like an average adult, you're spending like 30 bucks on a meal. 30 bucks? Well, because I, I know adults love their desserts. I'm yeah. not technically a big dessert guy. I'm not. But when I'm 50, I'm, I'm going to be dessert. I'm treating myself. I went to Applebee's in the U.S., yeah, I bought an appetizer and two main courses for the total of twenty five U S dollars. That which, that's like thirty five CAD, or maybe not thirty five, but it's like it, it evens out. Well, yeah, but conversions don't work like that. Like you're spe- like, you know, <laughs> it's like yeah, technically, but yeah. peak lifestyle, like it's one to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and even if it's like, let's say, like that's like thirty something. Like, let's say it's 35 Canadian dollars, mm-hmm. right? Let's say if I buy an appetizer here, you know how much that is? It's like 35 Canadian dollars already. Appeti- yeah. Well, not even, Dining not- out is expensive, especially in like, Vancouver. Like, if I buy an appetizer here, it's like 12 bucks, okay? Yeah. If I buy two main courses, that's like 20, 20, 12. So that's 40, that's $52 for, and I bought that for 52, let's say it's $52 here, but it's like 
thirty dollars in America, and then minimum tip here is like twenty dollars, twenty percent now. I tip fifteen still. No, no, no. But if you go to like a nice restaurant, oh yeah, not even nice, but like decent. Mm -hmm. The minimum tip is eighteen, I think. Right? It's is gonna it be like eighteen or twenty. Yeah, they're upping it. It's yeah. going up. And people at the club now, like apparently they um fucking do the tip for you. Like I can't, I can't even give them the option to not I tip know. them. They tip for me. If dude. you work at a club, DM us and tell me why your ego is that big. You know. Whoa. What do you mean by that? You think people that work at clubs people have that work at egos? clubs have the biggest egos of all time? Really? I I don't I don't I wouldn't even know. Like the bouncers, they think they they act like they are like Homelander. <laughs> From the boys? and then I mean the, the now and then what the uh the bartenders they tip for like they press the tip on yeah that's unhinged bro that's unhinged like what the fuck but I would do it. Because that's the culture, and I would just ingrain myself into it. And yeah, you know, I mean, you, I know you would fuck up. You would fuck up a Chinese bar. You'd fuck up the Korean bar, bro. Yeah, K-pop bar. Yeah, catch me at the K-pop bar if this shit doesn't work out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna learn Korean and hit, hit one I'm of the finger. I'm hearts. gonna hit one of these, yeah. and then I'm gonna get tip thirty percent. Because by that, by the time I go work there, tip minimum tip is gonna be like thirty percent now. Dude, by the time we're like thirty, minimum wage in Vancouver will be like. Thirty dollars. Yeah, and then minimum tip's gonna be thirty percent. Yeah, there goes my minimum wage. Bro. No, okay, well, tipping culture is very, it's, it's, it's awkward, and I don't like it because honestly, I'm gonna be really honest. I'm gonna be so honest on today's episode of Beer Sauce. There are a lot of instances where I don't tip. Oh, well, me neither. Like, I'll, I'll tip if I eat at a restaurant. I'll tip the Uber fucking driver because we troll them a little bit sometimes. Well. And I feel like that one's deserved because we say weird shit to them. But we we want to try to spark a conversation with them. What if they're what if they could hop on beer sauce? Like That's what if they're true. beer sauce material? Not right? yet. We haven't found one yet. Yeah. Not but if there's like an yet. Indian dad that wants to go on beer sauce, we're gonna find him in an Uber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um and um but but as an example, say you know we go to a cafe and we're not sitting down. I'm not tipping. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I'm not we worked at a cafe, and you know how long it took to make your drink? Like, if it was like a basic drink, mm -hmm. three seconds. Yeah, and also, you know how much effort I put into it? Negative two effort, <laughs> like five percent of my brain. Yeah. So I I won't tip in a lot of circumstances like that, but I don't like it when they hover around the machine. Like, no lie. Like, let me not tip you like, like, in peace. This. Like this was okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out, and you have like, mm -hmm. oh, card. I'm paying with my card. Mm. Oh. Oh, I see you hit four there. Bitch. <laughs> he like, that's how it goes every time. Yeah, that's the, that's, you just get slapped across the face yeah. through the counter, right? I fucking, I agree with you. I under, like, I understand why tipping's a thing, but I wish that like our economy was stable enough where we didn't need to do that, bro. Yeah. I, I tip at restaurants. I tip at t like tattoo artists. Like we're talking about like small things you buy like every day. Yeah. So that doesn't get like, Sometimes Ubers, but the thing is, the, I've, the, thing, about, tip the thing about tipping Ubers is I, d I only go on Uber when I need to use the app, but like if I go on a trip, like let's say I take an Uber and then a month later I want to take another Uber, the, the tip only occurs or the tip only prompts you after oh, you, yeah. after the so ride. you tip them like a month later. So bro. I'm like, wait, I don't even remember this motherfucker. And like, what if I need to get somewhere really fast and I have to hit skip on the Uber because I have to order a new Uber. It's just sometimes I have to do that, you know, but yeah, it's bad, but I don't tip when I'm, if I'm standing, I love that rule. And I've applied that to my yeah. own life other than well. Vietnamese restaurants, because Vietnamese restaurants, you always go up to pay. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I, I, I tip at you. I tip at Vietnamese. I, restaurants. Vi I tip at Vietnamese restaurants. too. Yeah, even if the service is dog and they're like 13 year old no daughter lie. is serving us. The Vietnamese restaurant service has always been very minimal. It's, you know? it's, they don't it's, bother you. Which I love. Yeah. I love. But sometimes, like, like get me some more water. True. Because I have the fur is spicy. Yeah. I need it's some. Drying. It's salty. You know what so, I mean? Yeah. I, I, I mean, I if you don't have the money to tip, I feel like you shouldn't be pressured to. Especially if you're buying. If you're already buying, like, an $8 bubble tea, which is, like, the most overpriced thing <laughs> of all time. You don't need to tip, guys. Like, grow a pair and save some money. And that's been Derek Zoo. <laughs> okay okay so uh, on to uh, this 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 fucks giving holiday i would like to um not give thanks to a big chapter in everyone's lives oh okay. everyone can relate high school fuck high school i would like to include it in today's fucks giving holiday i hmm i ooh, 
I see we have a little disagreement here in the studio today. Yeah, it's needed. Yeah, but I don't like it. I don't like it. It's needed, but I don't mm. like. I don't. I don't like asshole hair, but it's needed. Why is it needed? I don't know. Probably there's protection. A, yeah, there's probably a function yeah. for, for it, you know. But I, I don't. I don't like pube hair, but pube hair is there for a reason. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. But so, what did you not like about high school? I didn't like, just, like, like getting well, up early. I didn't like okay. homework. I didn't like um, the awkwardness of it. I didn't like. Um, Gabagoo. But I, I hate the exams. I, I, I There's so many elements of high school that I fucking despise. I hate the social ladders. I hate the um, tears. I hate the, I hate the whole experience like in general. Like the tears? Like you cried? What? You no, cried? No, no, no. The, the, the social tears. Uh... Sorry. But like, I just think, yeah, it's an experience you need, but it's an experience no one wants. It's like y y your parents kind of need to die. Well, they will like they would they have to yeah well it's gonna experience that you have most most people unless your kid dies that's fucked up sorry about that but um everyone I don't experiences it you know I, I agree but i don't agree and i'll tell you why so for, first i'll tell you what i agree with uh, in high school you wake up at like 7 30 mm -hmm. you go to school you get and you go to school for like six hours and like you still have to get there and come back right sometimes that's like a 15 20 minute walk right mm -hmm. that's like a seven ish hour like dilemma or not dilemma but like day adventure a day. unpaid by the way unpaid <laughs> unpaid literally unpaid could you do that right now you did nope. do that right now and then you stopped yeah i stopped but but the thing is is i at least paid to be there yeah i actually couldn't so i well, i'm not there anymore i've but... i couldn't do that that's like kids go to school for like eight hours 7 30 in the morning i couldn't do that right now Honestly, I used to like think the people that would show up in a house coat and like flip flops were weird, but now it's like I get it. Like it's hard, bro. Well, it is so hard. Yeah. Like I had so much more energy back then where I could do that, I feel like. Like I couldn't do that now. I feel like most people couldn't do that. I think now. it's adjusting. If you're if you like needed to, you could honestly if you needed to do anything, you could get it done. Yeah. That's but true. like when you're when your brain's like develop like it's just like but also that's all you knew. That's been your life since you yeah. were five. You had, you've been in school. Yeah. You were at this point. You've been in school for like fucking twelve years of yeah. your life. What is it? Like it's all. It's it's actually like the only thing you're programmed to yeah. do. In like grade eleven and grade twelve, I like barely missed any days. Like if I felt bad, if I was tired, I would still go to school. I I never skipped a class because I knew my mom would fucking kill me. I never skipped a class because I really need. I I hated missing out on like class because it made me feel behind. And yeah. I, I talked about this last episode, but I got my self worth from school. Mm -hmm. So if I like missed a class and I like fell behind, it would like really overwhelm me. So I would like even if I was sick. This was pre COVID. You pull up with the flu, nobody gives a shit. Mm -hmm. You fucking, I just went with the flu and I would go learn. Yeah. Now if you have the flu, don't go to don't go to yeah, school because you're gonna give everyone now. the fucking school. Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I just like I I just don't want to give thanks to high school. I think it's not a fun experience. But it's necessary because without necessary. high school, you turn into an idiot, dude. We went through high school and we're both idiots. That's because I don't have post-secondary. If I, if I still was in post-secondary, if I was in university, I would be, like, not an idiot. If you need brain stimulation, no matter what, as a human. And when you're not in school, you get less of that. And I can, like, a lot of my critical, you have to gain these skills in high school. Like, critical thinking, social skills. I didn't even gain social skills in high school. Like, I didn't gain critical thinking until last week, I swear to God. I actually did not have critical thinking no. until last week. Like, yeah. High school, I, look, I hate when people are like, wow, high school doesn't even teach you how to do taxes. High school doesn't teach you how to do this. Would you have paid attention, motherfucker? No, you wouldn't have. That's if true. If they taught you that, you wouldn't have paid attention. So don't act like you would have paid attention and learned so much shit if they taught life skills. And you know why they teach math? is because how the fuck are we supposed to do anything in society if we don't have mathematicians? How the fuck Shit. is society supposed to advance if there's no scientists? That's why they have to teach he math. He is Jesus. Like, so they have he to. He like, is yeah. Jesus, bro. Like, like people are like, oh, like teaching math is so stupid. But then we would never advance. We need to like, maybe you're fucking too stupid for math, and that's why like they're trying to root you out. Yeah. So then people that they are actually good me at out. It, yeah, me uh, advanced workplace legend over here. <laughs> advanced workplace bro, legend. You know bro. why they called it A and W math? Yeah, because because <laughs> you're you gonna be eating that A and W with that fucking with with the with no job point. you have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I I get it. I mean, high school. I liked high school, and a lot of people that say they like high school peak, but tell them I didn't peak, bro. You're wearing pajamas.
and it's it's 2 a.m i mean it's 2 p.m yeah but this is my house yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, i'm not outside yeah, okay. we do. we went to mcdonald's okay bro. i didn't peek because if i peeked i wouldn't be this beautiful look at him look at him look at that cutie but bro my nose peeked because i gotta <laughs> Jesus i need a doctor right i feel bad for the audio listen, listeners listen no, no 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 listen right now if you are a doctor I don't think Help any me. doctors listen to beer sauce. Well, a speech therapist, something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, a speech therapist does actually listen so, to beer sauce. My nose, I can't breathe. There's no snot. I can't blow anything out. It feels inflamed. It's just, I can't get the air in. And, like, this is what it sounds like when I, like, try to breathe in hard. Okay. <laughs> um, help. Okay. Oh, it's my... Pull up your phone. <laughs> well, that's what I'm not thinking for, but that doesn't yeah. count. Dude, it's, it's fucks giving. This is the, this is the holiday of hating. Violent men. I am not thankful for violent I men. I am not thankful. No thanks towards violent men. I if I if we got a room of violent men, I would like go, mm -hmm. go back to high school, learn my sciences, go to university and learn my science, learn my physics, make a bomb and right, bomb whoa. all the violent men. So you're Oppenheimer. So I'm Zoenheimer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a lot of tiers of this. Okay. There's like a tier list of violent men. Mm -hmm. F tier, alcoholic dad. I haven't experienced that. My dad alcoholic dads but love to hit their that's, kids. That's a rough violent they man. They love to hit their kids. Yeah, that's yeah. a bad, you know, sorry mm -hmm. if sorry if you are the violent dad. Get your shit together. Get your shit together, brother. But, and then we have my dad, violent man, hit me all the time. Now, when Nico goes like this, I'm going to be like, <gasps> I just want to high five him. <gasps> I just want to high five him. But then he runs. And he then runs I run. away from me. I don't know what's And then all on. of a sudden, I don't even speak English. He, he fucking hits me with. Some like Bing Chillin shit. Yeah. <laughs> why did you do that, bro? Why Why did you do that, Dad? Come on. What is it? Come on. Why did you do that? <laughs> and then, this is the one I want to actually talk about because I think this can actually be relatable. You know, the mm -hmm. violent dad one might is not relatable to a lot of people. Violent men in terms of people around our age, like here, build the scene. You're a, my friend, okay, and I'm a violent man. And we both listen to, we only consume violent rap music. And we only, and we have like big egos because we go to the gym all the time. So imagine me with muscles. Okay, now we're at the bar and um, I just ran in to my ex. Okay. Dude, like I just saw Stephanie. Dude, was she tight though? Dude, what was she wearing dude, though? Dude, she was with this guy. Guess what I did? What did he do? I fucking beat him up. Yeah, fuck yeah, you fucking, fucking did. Bro, that's what I, that, that's what I want on my... Yeah, you got that dog in you. Yeah, you got that dog. <laughs> why did you beat him up? Yeah, why, dude, just like... She's moved on. She's moved on. <laughs> you did not Go have, next. Like, like, like so, many, so many dudes are like, oh yeah, like I can, I can beat the shit out of him. Like, that was fucking lame. Like, oh, you're a fucking op. Like, I'll fucking beat the shit out of you. Why? Why? Why can't don't, we just be loving? No, like, don't beat the shit out Like. If you have a problem with somebody and your first initial thought is, I'm going to beat the shit out of you, have you ever thought about therapy? Ooh. Have you thought about getting help? I think they put all their money into their leg day, into their calves. Their money into leg day. <laughs> yeah, like, into the gym. Yeah. They, you know what I mean? It's like such an expensive like gym. It's, such, it's yeah. like their own home yeah. personal gym. Yeah. They don't even have to leave to work like, out Why anymore. do you... Why? Because like... We have those type of guys, and then we also have like Hitler. That man was a violent man. Yeah, Hitler. Violent men are the problems for all everything. If if men were not vi if men, uh, uh, I think aggression sometimes is okay. As an example, D Day, we had you know Saving Private Ryan. We we had a little bit of aggression. John Kirk, mm -hmm, and we and we got the job. We done. wouldn't get that right? many good movies without violence. That's true. That's that tr Transformers just wouldn't be as gas, mm -hmm. you know. But I think small amounts of aggression or you know that go getter attitude is very important. Mm -hmm. If no one had any uh, aggression, I mean aggression in the way of motivation mm -hmm. or the need to chase or get things done. Yeah. That kind of aggression, mm -hmm. not the yo. My ex girlfriend is dating a new guy, so I'm gonna beat him I'm the fuck beat up. Him up. That is the wrong kind of aggression, yeah. and unfortunately, it's the usual kind of aggression that we get in today's men, maybe. But also, like, I don't know anything about life. It's not all men that do this, and I feel like it's not actually as common as we think it is, mm -hmm. because we don't know anybody like this. We we like we know up, but we don't actively like hang out with them. 
Yeah, we know of people who do this, yeah. but we don't spend our time with them. But it's like, why is the first thing have to always be aggression? Like, self-defense is completely fine, right? Yeah. But it's like, oh, I'm having a dispute with this person. I want to fight them now. Oh, have you guys tried, like, mediating? Or is that, like, not a thing you guys have heard have of? Have you tried, like, de-escalating? You know? Yeah. Or, like, you know, like, people fight in bars? And all the... Or, like, it's always just, like... Oh, like what the fuck? And they you just, bumped like, into me. I'm gonna like, hit you because yeah. of that. Like, leave her alone, <laughs> <laughs> babe. <laughs> it's it's. I mean, I feel like we don't. We're not really a lot in a lot of that culture just because we don't hang around those people. But I swear, like the more of your ankle that's showing and the tighter pants you wear, the more chance of oh likelihood you would beat someone. Yeah, up. why? Do, it's like a meter, dude. I don't understand why dudes especially hockey guys yeah and i know no hockey guys listen to us so i'm not even afraid to flame them <laughs> like none of them because they're not listening to us they're listening no, to like they're listening how to, to get like, bitches 101 yeah they're listening to they're listening to like canuck clay we listen to canuck clay fuck well it's like especially men that work out a lot the bigger their legs, the tighter the jeans. Mm -hmm. Why cut off the circulation? You know how bad that is for you? Yeah. Like, hold, like, on a vein right now, and you're going to turn purple, you know? I bet, like, their legs turn purple. Yeah, I think like, they get home. I think I think they get home, and instead of taking their pants off like a normal fucking person, they just flex their calves, <laughs> and the fucking <laughs> jeans break off. Yeah. I think that's what happens. Yeah. And it's like, they also they always have the, um, the like, the, the space between here. Yeah, yeah, what is like, that? What is that? Why are they, like, what is so special about your legs that I need to see them? For men that... In winter. For men that want to be so masculine, you would think that that wouldn't be... You wouldn't Something think that I could do. see their fucking dick. Because that's a feminine thing. Or even like the ankles. Mm -hmm. That's a feminine thing. But these guys are like macho. They're macho, but like when they when they go out clubbing, they're all like, they're a little bit gay. Yeah. I think they're not proud of it, but but they, they let are. it out on a Saturday. Yeah, no, on a Saturday. <laughs> because it's 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 six days of pent up zestiness. They <laughs> gotta unleash it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um something that I would like to give fucks to is airports or any kind of traveling airports what? i you swear some hot i rat dude i rather give someone brain surgery than fucking go to an airport during christmas i rather have a go through a kidney transplant what's what's well, yeah but when you go to the airport you 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 go through that so you can go to like hawaii or mexico so you yeah but it's the connection. stressful part but what's you know, stressful about an airport dude i think it's because you don't feel anxiety you don't know what it's like, but I'm telling you, whenever you and Bella air travel, it's like the worst time. I, for her. I always put, yeah, and I'm just chilling. Yeah. yeah, dude, you forgot, you forgot your fucking passport when you were international going that through wasn't international even stressful, flight. Though, for me, yeah, but dude, you know how I many don't, people I think would there's be a anxious? Problem. I think you can't relate to it just because yeah. you don't feel anxiety. But I'm, I swear, bro, like at least 75% of people can agree with me that airports, that airports should be on the fucks giving list. Like it is like the, it's such, it's, it's stressful. Are you not tired after you get off a flight? I'm exhausted. Yeah. yeah. I think cause you're, but I land in like a tropical environment. You know, there's a toucan over there and you shit. went to Arizona. Well, I go everywhere, bro. I'm an international man. Yeah. He is. I want to go. Oh, I want to go on vacation now. Now, now, let's see. The airport made me want to go on vacation. Dude, like, actually, one day, if I like one, one day when you have a kid, you're gonna like, and you have to take them to the airport, and you have to be anxious now. Oh, it's gonna fuck you up. If I have a not baby, gonna be I'm not even gonna. I'm not bringing my baby on a plane. I'm putting them in. The, I'm, 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 I'm drugging them up, putting them in my suitcase, no, I'm putting and their my carry on. I'm putting. No, dude, I'm gonna get. By the time I have a kid, I'm, I'm assuming we have like artificial boobs, so I'm gonna bring like a, a breastfeeding boob, like. A handheld boob. You know we have those now? Like, to put in your pocket? Yeah, dude. Fucking, have you watched Meet the Fockers, bro? No. Fucking Robert And, like, De Niro milk comes has... out of it. Yeah. So, like, I wouldn't even need, like... Oh, I guess that's, like, a milk... What, what, dude, shout out to my single dads. Yeah. Shout out to my single Wait, dads, Wait, how bro. do single dads get milk to their baby? Dude. I'm not... Well, the, 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 the boob <laughs> in the pocket. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's actually a genius invention. Mm -hmm. I thought I was, like, coming up with something new. No, no. It's, it's been done. There's no original really? idea anymore. It's it's sad. Really. I don't think that's true. There's no original Foot idea. Foot massage restaurant. Holy shit. There's still one more original <laughs> idea. Don't fucking take that from me, you fuckers. Oh, my God. I don't think airports are that bad, but I also don't really get it. I yeah. feel like I'm I'm ignorant blissed up to mm -hmm. like not feel that pain. I'm telling you, like 
everyone that has travels with you, bro, is just like not okay. I like going on planes. Yeah, because yeah. planes are fun <laughs> to me. Bro, this guy has the mentality of a 10 year old, bro. I like planes, bro. <laughs> I like going on planes. I like going on watching movies. Okay. Like, I feel cool. I feel mysterious. Like, oh, where's this guy going? On plane? You know, you guys are all headed to the same destination. <laughs> <laughs> like, every, like, you can look, like, oh, hey, man, like, where are you going? Like, where, like, the same place you're going as well. Same shit, bro. Bring up your next prompt. I, being in America was weird, though. There was no Asians. Yeah. It's that, I want to go to a, oh, what's that called? I don't know. I want to go to, like, a Chinese restaurant in, like, Utah. Oh, dude. Like, you think I have Chinese people there? Yeah, it's called, it's probably called, like, Bing Chilling. <laughs> it's called, it's probably called Bing Chilling Restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Wing Ho. And, it, and it's by, like, a white guy that, like, no, went yeah. to China, like, once. No, and he thinks he's got it now. Yeah. yeah. There's all Mormons in Utah. I wouldn't go there. Nope. I'm going to start. Oh, okay. This one's oh. going to be... This, this one might be a little bit of a hot take. Jeez. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Because I've had some hot takes, apparently. So. For me. Okay. No, okay. this is not even a hot take. This is a controversial take. Oh. Okay. okay. War. Starting over religion. Because this is very... This is very... For this pre- segment, relevant. I'm not going to be talking as much. This is I'm really relevant. This, guy this is really relevant. Career. Because... Mm-hmm. The Palestinian and Israel conflict is happening. Like, well, it's always been happening. I feel like it's been happening for like nine billion years, but it's like at a heightened point right now. Mm-hmm. Let's say I'm a country and you're a country. Okay. And we're fighting over a burger. Yeah. A burger is objective. This cheese was sourced ethically from 1942 France, yes. World War II period. Yes. Molded blue cheese, perfect flavor, oh. perfect, exquisite. Okay, fine. Non-molded. It didn't mold through a hundred nope. years. No. Oh my god, this is magic. Crazy cheese. burger. Surely Made this is religious by cheese. SpongeBob SquarePants. Mm-hmm. Literally. Like he came, made it, and then died. Jesus. Certified cr- actual Krabby Patty. Best burger in the world. Objectively best burger in the world. You can measure that. It's delicious. Okay. Oh. And we fight for that. Oh. Valid as fuck. You think war is valid over that? That burger. objective objective shit because like that? you can measure like oil yeah fuck it you know what wait for my second part of the take <laughs> okay listen thing. okay oil america i know you guys fucking like your oil you know what i think war is bad but if you're gonna fight for something at least you can measure the amount of oil you took all right now here's the thing now let's say the burger we were fighting for was hypothetical <laughs> so there's a chance that the burger isn't even real now I'm, let me say this my burger is better than yours. And then you go, no, my burger is better. And then we fight for 9 billion years. And the burger doesn't, like, you can't even see the burger. Like, this is a hypothetical burger. That's what fighting over religion is about. Stop fucking doing that. Wait, Get me in the UN I, and I'm stopping I'm that be, conflict. I'm being so serious when I say this. I'm being so fucking serious when I say this. There's a, a way people measure IQ is how they're able to explain tricky concepts but in simple ideas you just explain that in the best fucking way possible <laughs> like i actually i can't i can't, honestly some days i think you are the smartest man to, Dude, to, to, to cross the earth and then there's other days where i think you wake up each morning and bash your head into the wall 15 times i don't know i don't know I'm dude this over a little bit oh fuck yeah. but like i like I, I that was okay so i i can i can with the burger analogy i agree with you i'm not gonna give my take on the whole uh um well i'm not very right. educated on that yeah i don't know how much you know i know nothing from my understanding i don't even know where passing is well it's just like basically this is gonna be the really dumb version I'm, i might be wrong but like First of all, Jew- Jesus was a Jew. He was Jewish. Mm-hmm. That's just like, I don't know why they made my boy white. He was definitely brown. <laughs> like, Jesus was brown. Mm. And he also did not have a six-pack. I'm, I'm sorry. He, he was not rocking a six-pack. No, because there were no gyms back in the day. Yeah, he could have had a skinny pack, maybe, but it wouldn't have been that defined. Not in the not, even not a, in the murals we see today. Well, you can't even get buff back in the day. You're either fat or skinny. Or you're like a Spartan. Yeah, but... How have you much seen, food have you seen 300, have? bro? Yeah, but how much food do they have? Decent amount. Like, you beautiful. think that people are bulking? You think they had enough food rations to bulk? No, they weren't bulking, but they were probably big. They are decently big. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Yeah. But they, like, I don't know. I know they just had, like, the, the Muslims and the Jewish people, they've just had beef for, like, so long. And it all started over this fucker named Jesus. And that guy, 
I, I'm better than him. Like re- referring back to the start of the episode. So yeah. stop fighting over a fake burger, bro. <laughs> Like get me in the UN. No, literally get me in the UN. I'm stopping. I'm stopping this crisis. Let's 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 let's, let's be nice to each other. Let's not fight over fake shit. Okay. Okay. And be nice. Why don't we all be nice? And also, who's fighting the more violent aggressive men. ass men? Violent men. Yeah. You think and you th- think women are fighting? Nope. I just hit a two in one. Damn. You just hit a fucking t- dude. You know. Jeez. This is why Hillary Clinton should have been elected. She wouldn't start a war. No, we wouldn't have been boys with Kim Jong Un. There's no violent woman. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. What about Asajj Ventress? Who was that? You you don't know who Asajj Ventress is? Who's Asajj? You don't know who Asajj Ventress is? No. Okay, I'm gonna go into my prompt, bro. Um, I have a high IQ, everybody. Okay, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go pee because I this is my personal favorite prompt of the day. So I think I want to take a pee break to Let's you know, them. like unleash all the unleash all the bladderness, so I have a clear head. Clear head. You know what You're I mean? You're gonna jerk off to have a clear head. Only take me 20 seconds, mate. Respect. Satisfying pee break. Rose better drop the hottest. Okay, Thanksgiving so, prompt of all time. Uh, you know, and this one pisses me off too. This one pisses me off because it's just people make an excuse for their poor behavior. I'm sorry. I don't know who needs to hear this. Oh shit! I, I'm calling somebody out. You're I don't know who it that is. We might know. I don't. I could be calling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This I'm, might be you. This could be you. And I'm there's sorry. no like no offense. He's doing it for the greater good of society. Yeah, we need. Le- you know what? I was gonna say we need less of these people, but I I don't want you to be less. Or, so yeah, you know, maybe just change that behavior. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what you're gonna yeah. say. And I'm sorry, but. You don't have a flirty personality. Uh, You're just fucking horny. People, I, I, I would like to add to the, th- the fucks giving list. People with flirty personalities. Okay, so what does that mean? Having a flirty personality is when you yeah. flirt with people, and then you, and then you get them on the hook. And then they think you like them. But you're just like, oh, no. And you're not, like, no, I just have a flirty personality. Yeah, I wasn't trying to. I was just... I, I just love to touch your thigh because it's part of my personality. Yeah. I just love to, like, play with your hair and fucking give you good morning and good night texts and send you hearts because I have a flirty personality. Like, no, you don't, brother. No, you don't got a flirty first flirty personality, bro. So do you think this flirty personality excuse mm-hmm. happens in guys more or girls more? I think it's an equal amount. Yeah. To be honest. Like, I, I, I honestly actually... I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna um, tread back on that take because I don't know. Um, I don't. I, I like. I don't know. Like I'm a man. I don't know the woman's perspective on this, so I don't actually know. But I do know multiple men in my Ooh, time. Okay. I'm not calling out anyone out that we're friends with, but I just know men in my time that you know they're like, dude. I just have a super flirty personality. No, you just like to keep them on the hook motherfucker and then you get horny and down bad then easy right yeah, there for the yeah, pick yeah so maybe you know instead of leaving people on the hook and just 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 don't have a flirty personality just be normal just be normal bro that's my that's i want to be the devil here oh if you have self-esteem you're not on anybody's hook but i guess we can't blame people for having low self-esteem but i just personally could not be on a hook i feel that's so degrading like you might as well just step on me and piss on me and like shit on me and kill my mom yeah. Okay. Well, that's an extract. Yeah, that's a, you know, five, ten minutes ago, I thought you were the god with that burger now analogy. I'm, now, now I'm the smashing. Yeah. The head now in the you're wall. the bashing the head in the wall guy. Um. No. I. It, I think. I think. Um. Have you super interacted com- with anybody like that? I've act- interacted with people on people's hooks, and I've interacted with people that are getting people on the hook. Oh. And it's like, geez, you know, like I just, I, I don't know. This whole, this whole, this whole, this, this is not a personality trait. That when you make your D and D character, there isn't a personality flirty, personality. flirty. no yeah. there's like persuasion yeah. there's other things there's no flirting personality yeah, that so, is not a personality I mean, and trait. there's also a difference between like being friendly to everybody and actually flirting you yeah know? like if you can't read the difference then that's on you to be honest you might just need some social skills then yeah but like there no dude there are motherfuckers that just like flirt like a like like yeah. it's their last day like alive, bro because it's a validation thing probably they probably get validated and they feel good about themselves you know yeah like Especially with people that like DM girls all the time on like social media, when they get a response, it probably feels good. That's probably their version of like methamphetamine. And you know, honestly, I guess it's better than meth. I guess. Yeah. Sure. But yeah. you know, when you're doing meth, you're only impacting your own life. Yeah. I guess you know there are people around you that like your parents could be worried and and, and stuff like that. But when you're when you're putting people on the hook, you're directly impacting external factors, right? Well, a lot so of do dudes, meth instead of do that. I think a lot of dudes use like getting girls as a trophy like oh 
I got her girl, and she bro blows on me. Yeah, that's my impression <laughs> of like those guys. <laughs> Forty five. I lasted thirty hours. Thirty. Oh my god! Such good dick game, bro. I know. Such good dick game. Maybe you should stop jerking off if you're lasting that long, huh? Thirty hours. Thirty hours. That's a long yeah. sesh. A lot of edging going on, probably. Yeah. yeah. Tons of edging, <laughs> or just like tons of masturbating. Like I'm talking like like seven times a day. Well, Jungkook yeah. has sex twenty four hours a day, seven times a day. Yeah. No masturbating then. Only only sex. What? The thing is, I thought Korea was a lot more traditional in the sense that you wouldn't publicly make a song about having sex that much. I think Jungkook can. I think Jungkook is changing he's the, game. the fucking goat of Korea. He's bro. the goat of Korea. He's the goat of Korea. Besides you, yeah. There's two goats of Korea. There's Zhu Shaeyong and, and then Jungkook. Jungkook. Yeah, but I'm better than him. Not true. Yeah. I mean, because Jungkook isn't as cool as Jesus. You know, Jungkook has like a bunch of tattoos. Yeah, yeah, he has a whole arm sleeve. I didn't even on. know that. Yeah, that's I because he always wears a. I do. You, do you think like his managers make him wear a full sleeve? Because having tattoos in Korea is like taboo. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, I mean, he lets them out sometimes, but yeah, probably because mm-hmm. you you have to like I don't know. B, who's like I wonder if like old people listen to BTS in Korea. I think BTS. I I'm pretty sure like the the like a fucking huge contributor con- tr- contribution to the economy. Like I think BTS is like fucking or not bts sorry um like k-pop in general is just humongous i also yeah. i don't know because i'm not korean i don't live in korea but this is what i can assume based off uh like social media Isn't so this... my opinion is based off social media so it feels like dystopian you know yeah no i i i watched a 10 minute video essay on korea so like i'm an expert now basically oh. and like apparently sony like imp- or so or like samsung, samsung it's one of them yeah thank you samsung employs like die 60 percent like korea's culture or like 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 more than like 20 percent, which is insane i'm gonna flame asia okay it's happening whoa this is my fuck's giving okay i didn't <laughs> even like even this profit. is this is yeah just natural. right now just natural i think a lot of people really hype up asia as like this great great continent when we talk about asia we're not talking about china we're talking about korea and japan i think Sorry. it's the fetishization of asia yeah like korea and japan I'm gonna rope in China, but generally people have a less like um people's perception of China is more like worse. Like they like just think poor like air quality. Like they just think like communist C pop, nah, shit is trash. <laughs> but generally Korean Japan, people like love that place. Or people's perception of Korean Japan in North America is like so positive. Yeah, it's it's because of fetishization. Like it's why people now want to have Korean or Japanese features. It's why people like like, like, why do you think these motherfuckers want to go to Japan so badly? It's because of anime, bro. Yeah. It's because of fucking Your Lie in April. That's why, dude. It's because of Demon Slayer. And, you know, I, I traveling's cool. Bit, big advocate. You know, I'm not shaming traveling, but when we have... Like, people shit on America all the time. I don't even like America, but I'm going to defend America. You Americans, Jeez. I got you back right now. So, people shit on America all the time. America's like the shit box of, like, the world. Like, Whoa. Europeans hate America. Everybody hates America. Because America loves itself. Oh, it's like a meme. America's like a meme. Everybody hates America, right? Mm-hmm. Especially with, like, its um, political problems. A lot of America has a lot of problems. But I think any woman that has ever actually lived in Japan or Korea will know that the sexualization of women is still so, so horrible. It's so traditional. Don't There's they like... have maid cafes in Japan? Yeah, probably. Yeah. And the rent a girlfriend. We should work there. We wouldn't. We should work because there. there's gay people there, dude. No, I I want to work. I want to work in. I want to go back to Laos and I want to be one of those. Oh, <laughs> I want to be one of Lady Boy. <laughs> lady Boy. I could do it. Why? What? I don't even know why there's so many Lady Boys in those countries. I think because sex sells, brother. I think sex sells sex, in every country. I think just more over there. I think I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's all the MSG and the fur. They just make people more near. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, and that machine in the foot makes them feminine. Yeah. It's like they, they take the testosterone away. Mm-hmm. And and like it makes they, me grow breasts, yeah. you know? Yeah. I think, I mean, especially with Japan, a lot of anime is deeply rooted in like the sexualization of women and also children. Yeah. Lolly. Lolly yeah. porn. And like if I heard, I heard, if you go to Japan, you go to like 7-Eleven, you can find like ch- basically child porn. Like it'll just be like underage girls in bikinis 
front side of the magazine. They like got animated or like no, we're real. talking about like flesh flesh girls. Okay, real, ooh. right? And it, it's because their culture of gender norms are still so traditional. Like so traditional. And I mean, dude, if you're a woman and you think you haven't been sexualized in Japan, like you're lying and I will yeah, Same reason why I, I and I could be so wrong. I could be so fucking wrong about this, but I believe in Japan, um, they um phones. Yeah. If you take a photo, it will permanently have the flash on and make a noise. Yeah, as well because what a lot of people do is I believe in Japan they still wear um traditional school uniforms at most yes. schools. Yeah. A lot of guys like to go oh. Sorry, I'm tying my shoes. Just kidding. Took a, took, took, a, took a picture of your vagina. Just like that. Got right? him, motherfucker. Got him. That's why and, you wear boxers. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and um, so I think most phones in Japan legally have to always have the flash on Good. and have the yeah. uh, ringer on constantly. Yeah. So, But men, and even though we all look cute, you know, there's a lot of Korean, Japanese people. Also, race, Asians are racist as fuck. My grandma fucking is dude, racist. Dude. Asians are so racist. Yeah, no, yeah, unbelievable. Like, literally. Mm-hmm. Like, I think a, a lot of people get shit on for being racist, but not Asian people. Asian people are, like, one of the most racist people. But we've also seen. gone through a decent amount as well. It doesn't mean you can be, And though. we, you're, especially your country. Also, I'm talking about, I'm talking about people that have never experienced racism because they didn't even leave the country. Oh, yeah. Like, those people are racist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think I was looking at the best places to live country-wise why were you doing that i was just curious okay and no lie i think japan and korea are so romanticized as if you don't work like fucking 90 hour (laughs) work weeks like the people that made those lists have clearly never had a job there because my uncle who is from china but it's the work culture is very similar he Mm -hmm. worked nine o'clock to nine o'clock six days a week for like 10 years I would I kill just, myself. Is this true? And I'm sorry if this is like a racial thing. Like if I'm being racist and saying this, yeah. but I read this somewhere that a lot of buildings in China have nets. Um, I don't the, know, but the, probably on their office buildings because so many people jump. That's off. what my dad needed, bro. Yeah, one of those no. nets. Yeah, he needed one of those. So they should implement more. They have them at. Um, they didn't have a net for. Didn't bro. they have them at school, uh, Harvard or something? I don't know. Didn't they have them at uh, some schools. Smart thing to do, though. Mm. If you have the right to life, you should have the right to death. What about like if you're 13 though? You should get that right when you're 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm pulling up my. Wait, that, dude, you that you because you that was a that was a prompt in the moment. Nah, you, that was mine. Okay, that was your. That prompt. one was mine. Okay, I liked that one. Um, so I only now have one prompt left. Okay, it's my final one, and it's something that I experience a lot. I even experienced it last night, unfortunately. Ooh, getting called pussy. No. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> um, uh, no, this I experienced this a lot. I experienced this last night as well. Okay. Awkward interactions. I'm a, I'm a king of awkward interactions. Uh-huh. I don't know what it is about me, but every time I talk to someone, it doesn't go well. But awkward's made up. Still doesn't go well. What still is objectively awkward? What's 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 your worst awkward interaction, or what do you hate about? Besides it? the one that happened last night with Kaya's mom. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, well, okay. So I mean, we were leaving our friend's house. To be fair, nobody walked you out. It's valid. We all just sat there. Nobody yeah. walked you out, and Kaya's mom was there. Mm-hmm. And nobody walked out, and you're putting on your shoes, and it was just you and her mom. Yeah. And nobody was with you. What are you gonna say? How's work? I'm gonna ask him. A Why question. didn't she respond? It's not on your, yeah, I did ask her how work was, mm-hmm. and then when she didn't say anything, you said, I "Oh went, God!" I went, "Oh God!" and I closed <laughs> the door and left. That's not your fault. Yeah. Okay. I. You know what? It's not your fault, man. Uh, interactions are a fifty-fifty thing. Yeah. If I'm given a hundred percent of the interaction, I'm Where? going, "Oh God!" and getting the fuck out. Yeah. Right. That wasn't your fault. But I don't. I don't know why I'm the king of in awkward interactions. I had one at McDonald's today with that guy. That's because you know so many people. I don't. We know the same amount. No, of people, it's because you knew so many people past tense did i knew did i knew that many people you knew a lot of people and now i think i don't understand this but i don't there's nothing wrong with it but if i knew you before but it's been like so long i don't want to catch up with you yeah like i don't care I'm about on you the anymore. same page as, as you. but i think people are on the same page because they always say hi to you but then that's like that's like the start of an awkward interaction yeah, because i think you know we we and derek walked into mcdonald's we got a got some smoothies before recording oh, today this guy got a lemonade 
And um, we saw a guy that we went to high school with, and he goes, yo, Nicholas, first off, you're not my mom, don't, and I'm not in trouble. Don't government call, name. Don't drop the government name on me, okay? <laughs> and, and it's just awkward. He's like, yo, how have you been, bro? I'm like, oh, I'm all right, bro. Yeah, he's all right, shit. I've been good. Yeah, he I've was been like, good, you want to sip my coffee, bro? Yeah, he asked me if I wanted his coffee. Turned him down on that one. But it's just like, damn, I thought we were on the same page of I we weren't going to talk to one another. I thought we were both there. Why Why are we having a conversation? Or if you're on the bus, you get stuck on the bus. Oh, with my God, someone? because you can't like you on the bus. You're in an enclosed space. together. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to a social event today um, for our friend Juno. And Mango is Spider-Man right now climbing on shit. That's OK. And um, good filmmaker. Good man. And um, you getting cozy under the blanket there. I don't, I don't want my bulge to show. Could I get could I get under the blanket and we can touch feet? No. You sure? Only one person Fuck. is allowed to okay. <laughs> And um, I'm going to be seeing some people there that I haven't seen in like at least six months to a year, even longer. That's like you could have a baby in that time. Yeah, and I it's going to be awkward. I'm not looking forward to it. There's going to be a lot of awkward interactions. I'm not a big awkward interaction kind of guy. I'm a big, I'm a big, can we have our smooth, minimal interactions Mm -hmm. if i don't have to if it doesn't have to be awkward let's not make it awkward let's just so what's your what's your plan to pretend that i don't notice them (laughs) and then i'll and then i don't think that plan ever works you tried it today at mcdonald's yeah okay i usually works on the bus dude if i go out on transit i am seeing someone that i used to know somebody that i used Used to to know know. somebody Somebody. and like (laughs) nice um but it just it happens to be all the time you also have awkward interactions as well. When, when do I have awkward? I don't have awkward interactions. Because you just don't know it's awkward, but it's awkward as fuck. Maybe. Bro, it's a... That's well, a the thing is, when I, I don't bump into that many people. I think the most awkward interactions for me are when I bump into somebody I used to know. Somebody, somebody that, that I used, used to know. know. Somebody. somebody. When I bump into that person, and it's sort of like, do we talk to each other? Even though I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking, we're not talking to each other. Yeah. Sometimes they talk to me. And it's like, what you been up to? And that's like, I know you don't care. So don't act like you care. So let's talk about the most recent Star Wars movie or something. So let's talk about like some weird shit. Yeah. But those are the most awkward for me because it's like, I'm not looking forward to talking to you, but you talk to me and now I'm just going to try to leave now. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's that. I don't think it's, those are my most awkward ones. But I think what you should do is if you have, you should write, pre-write some lines. Well, you can hit the, remember when? Oh, but what if it's someone that I don't know? What what if I just, what if I don't even remember their name? I'll run into people and I just cannot tell you what their fucking name is and they're talking to me. I'm like, like my fault, gang. I think have like a icebreaker, like what? Oh, because people love talking about themselves. The thing is, conversations can feel awkward, but the person that's like getting asked a lot of questions doesn't feel awkward because they're talking the whole time. And people love talking about themselves. Just be like, what did you want to do as a, what did you what was your dream job as a kid? Boom. Oh. That's that's my advice. Wow. Easy. Okay. So I think the thing is is uh, awkward interactions. I think it is it belongs under the fucks giving list, but there's something Nobody we can them. do about it. There's something we can do about it. I think it. awkward interactions are also like you need them. You need them. They, they they're funny. Yeah, but I have so many they're not even funny anymore. Like dude, do you have that many? Bro. I'm going to bleep. I'm going to bleep whatever. Remember when we were. Gabagoo. Was that awkward? That was fucking awkward. Maybe awkward for you, but it wasn't for me because I didn't. I don't have that history. I think it was awkward because history. I think your problem is history. Your problem is history with people. It's awkward because you used to know them and now you don't. You know just as many people as me, bro. Yes, but not enough where I would actually go talk to them. Shit. But I also don't see that many people. You're I'm a lucky, lucky man. I'm, 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 I'm an unlucky guy. Every time I go out, yeah. I swear I have a talent where, where yeah. I run into somebody that I used to know. Somebody, somebody that, that I used to know. Somebody. somebody. Okay, pull out your prompt, bro. That was mine. I'm out now. What I'm out. juice am I going to bring out today? Oh, oh, the people on YouTube shorts who shit on us. I'm not thankful <laughs> for you. I'm not thankful for your negativity. I'm trying to live my life, and you're spreading negativity. Dude, okay, you know I gotta give thank you to okay, I, um, because we posted a bit on our. I was we I I didn't honestly expect so many people to like fucking like defend Go us. defend us. But we, like we posted a thing on our story because we were getting so much hate in one of our YouTube shorts, and we were like, "Yo, defend us." There was like at least fucking ten, there was like 10 15, people. 20 people that were like defend. I was like, "Geez, like, I, you know what?" Thankful for you Thankful guys. You guys are guys. not on the fucks giving list. That was. You guys are on the Thanksgiving list. You guys are on the Thanksgiving list. So 
Well, that was great because we had like a little army going. No, we, you know? we, we, dude, I swear we could start a revolution. Storm the UN and get me in to stop the, the crisis. Yeah, and bring your burger, na- burger that analogy. That burger analogy. Yeah, that's yeah. that's all we need, really. Like, the thing is, we get some hate, whatever. It doesn't bother me, but I'm not thankful for it. Why would I be thankful we, for it? Do we get, because I we, we get a decent, for... On YouTube. On a, oh, YouTube mostly on YouTube. We get on YouTube. Every other platform is so nice on Instagram like we get some dms um every once in a while of people like just um like telling like telling us what beer sauce has done for them and each time we receive one of those it means so much to us My like you go thank you very yeah but also we're like helping people yeah you know feel yeah, 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 great yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and and like that that we feel like that it fucking makes our month it makes it, it worth it yeah it makes it continues us to keep pushing the gas down and keep going i don't know why it's not even I the think, youtube comments it's just youtube shorts i think it's because i don't know why youtube because we don't even get like sometimes we'll get one on an instagram tiktok whatever but it's consistently youtube shorts that like people always will see like a 30 second clip of us they'll watch like the 10 second clip and then comment like wow these guys have no personality these guys have no personality you know who has no personality you motherfucker here's if you are commenting something hateful Show me your bank statement before you comment it. And if you actually have money, it's valid. But you don't because you're on YouTube shorts being a little pussy. All right. If you if you, and I guarantee you they're ugly. OK, so in order to see if the hate is valid, you want to see their bank statement and what they look like. Because if you're hating on a YouTube short, you're 100 percent ugly and you have nothing to do with your life. You're a loser. Why? And why YouTube do we, why, why do we care about why do we care about a loser's opinion? You know? Why would I give a shit if a snail doesn't like me? I can kick the fucking snail. I know. And why would I give a shit if, like, some fucking loser who probably, like, has no friends is commenting root shit on YouTube for... Like, imagine how fucking insulting we have to be. Why do I care about their opinion? Right? I'm not thankful for you, but you're, like, less than me. Yeah. You're you're here. And I'm here. He's up there. Also, YouTube shorts are bad. We only post on them because I feel like some people actually do watch them. Yeah. But... No lie. We don't get no views on YouTube shorts. But why are you even watching a YouTube short? I don't know. Like, there's so many Because Because they're, they're all 13 and they ran out of the time limit on TikTok and Instagram. Or So they had to go to YouTube well, shorts. A lot of people that hate on us are old. They're like older men. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, the people that hate on us, I'm glad they hate on us because it means that they will never listen to our content. Yeah. And I want, I don't want those people it listening to It means we hit, like, yourself. the right audience. It, you know? I think, I think, like, I fucking love our audience and the demographic of yeah. people that listen to beer sauce. It's like, I'm so glad we cultivated not this a toxic yeah. environment and we cultivated a community that reflects us. Like it's just, just fucking, we nailed it, bro. But then, and then when the fucking, the, the tighter, like, like when they wear tight ass pants and comment on beer sauce, those, like, those thank guys. God, like, thank God. We, it was like, you were giving hair advice and then people were like, this guy doesn't brush his hair. Or this guy doesn't Have brush. you ever seen a curly headed man brush his hair to be straight? <laughs> What is wrong with you, bro? What is wrong with you? Stop. Go to your next spot, bro. <laughs> also, if you think you're about leaving a hate comment, just know that, like, I have spent three to four hours researching all the haters because the best way to deal with a hate comment, other than to ignore it, is to find personal stuff about them. And then yeah, you do that. You do. You ruin done that their before. life. It's crazy. Um, he's the guy. He's the Derek with the dragon tattoo. Uh, this is a personal one, but I'm not thankful for my ADHD. Is this your last one? I have one more, but oh, there's, there was a weak one. But I'm not thankful for this. This has ruined my life. ADHD is on the uh, the fucks giving list. I appreciate it's, that. It's on my every fucks giving list mm-hmm. of all time. That's the top one. Yeah, because the other ones were jokes, but this one actually affects me. Yeah. Fuck, fuck ADHD, and I know. Okay, well, I got this comment mm-hmm. on the last podcast that was like, I don't, I'm, I'm going to respond to it. I've been lazy. I'm sorry. If I still haven't responded, like, I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> but I'm going to give you the I'm gonna give you the cure right now. Yeah. The comment was, how did you make your ADHD better? Because my ADHD is so bad. And the truth is, unfortunately, first of all, go try meds. Literally, go. Um, but if you're like me and you have, like, some, like, demons, you're just going to get mad on them. So, but you should try them that doesn't work the, the truth is without medication the only way to make your adhd functional from what i've seen is to just stop doing shit you don't want to do 
that's the, that's the mm -hmm. unfortunate truth that I'm privileged enough to cure my ADHD by just stopping, just by not doing what I don't want to do. And that's the truth. I dropped out of school. Jeez. Have you seen how many clothes are on my bed? I'm never going to hang them up. But that's also because if I hang them up, my brain is going to be like fucking overheating. So I won't do it. And I'm privileged enough to, you know what? My bed's big enough where I can put half the clothes on one side and mm -hmm. sleep on the other side. I think I think to cure ADHD, you have to have a certain level of um, like privilege to not do the things that you don't want to do. Yeah. And you could have these schedules planned. You could have all this like regimen of curing ADHD. But the best cure is literally just to not do things you don't like. Because I'm the most productive I am right now, and that's because I like the things I do. I'm passionate about the things I do. That's the cure. It's passion. More passion. More passion. There, there is no aggression. There is no passion. Yeah, but that's that's unfortunately it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest one of today. I think that's at the top of the fucks giving list. Yeah, because when I was in school, I physically couldn't do the work. I know how it feels. You can't do it, and it's because you hate it. And that's why I'm never going to do anything I don't like anymore, because I won't even be able to. So that's unfortunate. Why, but why even try when you know you can't get it done? Literally. Why even try to do the homework? I know you're not gonna do it, motherfucker. If you're if you if you if you're if you're if you're if you're if you're studying, watching this, just put the, close the book. It's, it's not working. Well, that's some bad advice. Well, maybe you know, finish the podcast and then do the homework. Because I know right now you can't do oh, both at the same oh, time. Oh, another good advice is just get off your phone. That's really hard. Stop. Just put it in another room. That's uh, hard you think too. It's hard? Dude, fourteen yeah. year olds can't do that shit. Well, I mean, if you don't have the drive, then don't even try to get better. You might as well just be like brain dead, an iPad kid. Yeah. But my actual advice is also all this scrolling. It, I mean, humans are conditionable. You know Pavlov's dog. Mm -hmm. Like if I every time you said you wanted to go to um a sushi restaurant, I like slapped you. You would never want to go to the sushi restaurant because every time you you wanted to, yeah. you would expect pain. Mm -hmm. Humans are conditionable. If you are swiping for dopamine every single day, it's gonna feel so fucking good. You're gonna feel like Dude, even this motion. I love this. I love doing that swiping yeah. motion. It hits, and then all of a sudden you can't even do anything you need to do because your reliance on that feel good is gonna be like maximized. So really waterboard yourself <laughs> waterboard and, yourself because that's like opposite of dopamine that's how you dopamine detox and i know it's hard obviously have somebody set a timer on your scrolling apps mm -hmm. and don't let them tell you the password and then you literally can't use it and if you go on youtube shorts well then you're cringe yeah or if you go on tiktok on your like computer then like that's wow you're a lost cause that is that. crazy yeah. my yeah. last prompt is iPad kids. We're not thankful for iPad kids. Yeah. It's, it's killing them. Oh, no. I, I, I think, and this is not a new thing as well. Like, I, this was back when I was shopping at Winners. I was 15. You were an iPad kid? No, I was, no, no, I saw iPad kids. Oh. When I was like 15, I was walking through Winners, and that used to be my main source of shopping, and you could tell. Well, no, no, Winners isn't. I like Winners. Winners has some good stuff. Yeah, but I couldn't see it. I couldn't pick it out. Well, I saw yeah. it was the white shirts and the black pants. Yeah, it's fair. Nothing's changed. <laughs> and um, um, I would see like a two-year-old just fucking like beating the shit out of Tetris or like Candy Crush or something. And it's brutal. And I, I think it makes parenting – it solves the problem in the moment, but it will make it so much worse like a decade down the line. I think like yeah. – it, it, like I, I can't even blame parents. I don't know what it's like to be a parent. It's probably the fucking hardest thing ever, right? But if you keep giving your kid an iPad every time they cry, I promise you they're going to be 15 and still need a breastfeed. I promise you they're going to be 20 and like me. You don't want that. No one you wants that. You don't want that. No one wants that. You, you're making a <laughs> zombie of a child. Mm -hmm. I was at the movie theater and this kid kept yelling, iPad, iPad, iPad. And his dad gave him the iPad full brightness during the movie. And I've never wanted to inflict violence on a child. But that changed that day, and I, mm -hmm. I thought about. That didn't sound like choking. That sounded like head. Yeah, like well, really geez. forceful. No, like. But I just wanted head, to like yeah. slap the bitch out of that kid. Yeah, I, I, and you could have, you should have. 
and you would have oh there was a sna- there was a kid snapchat i think i told this story mm-hmm. but there was a kid snapchatting the movie theater like the whole movie so after the movie i i was like dude add me on snapchat bro and he was really embarrassed so i actually i'm actually changing lives out here because he'll never do that again mm-hmm. hopefully well we can only hope you know maybe maybe we need to take this kid maybe we need to invite them into our home show them warmth Show them, you know, hot chocolate. What's some other what's some other fucks giving traditions? What what's some Turkey fucks- ham. We don't we don't eat turkey on fucks giving. That's Thanksgiving, bro. Oh fuck. You know what we eat on fucks giving? We fucking eat Tootsie Mc- Rolls. We eat McDonald's. We eat McDonald's. We eat McDonald's. Why cereal. get a turkey when you got McDonald's at home? I had home? cereal today. Honeycomb. These are the kind of things we eat on fucks giving. You know what I mean? Maybe we need to invite this person into into our house. Show him love show them love and warmth and to solve their problems of being an iPad kid, I think they just are in such need for fire content that so they, that they keep scrolling. To us. Right? Maybe yeah. we just need to show them a specific Instagram and TikTok to solve all their problems. Oh, I think if they went on B E R S O S P O D C A S T on beer sauce or on TikTok and Instagram, I don't. I think they would be fully addicted. They would watch all the reels, all the TikToks. Because oh, they're all the so time. fire. Yeah. I don't. I don't know those guys personally, mm-hmm. but I know they they make, make such gas content. content yeah. <laughs> Check out the Beer Sauce podcast to give away highlights, lore, and what's going on in the beer sauce world. Um, that was fucks giving. Uh, you know why thanks, give th- thanks? Why, thanks, thanks, yeah, thanks. Yeah, why? But why give thanks when you can give fucks? But we're gonna give thanks now. Thank you to watching. This yeah. is you are actively making our dreams come true, mm-hmm. and that. Is like a make a wish thing, you know? Yeah. Like if I was a make a wish kid, I'd be like, I want people to listen to my podcast, but I'm not. Uh, yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm doing make a wish without even dying. Thanks. Well, you die slowly every day. Yeah. Oh shit. We don't want to think about that. We don't want to think about that yet. Okay. But no, yeah, that like this is crazy. We have two cameras pointing at us right now. I wake up and I do this. I dropped out of fucking school. Let's go. We absolutely love you for listening or watching. Who knows? Thank you so much. And if you're not watching, you should be watching. You could be watching. I feel like you should be watching us. We do some funny faces every once in a while. Yeah, but if you're listening to us in the car, keep your eyes open. That's okay. Don't watch us in the car. Yeah. Don't be like this guy. This guy watches Daredevil on long road trips. What? Beer sauce.